Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. And finally I'm back guys. I've been sick pretty much all week. I don't know if you can still hear it, but I'm, I'm sick man. I'm, 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 I'm on the mend though. I'm on the mend. But um, today we're going to be talking about the AMG and its insane ability to ride the curbs. Now, if you don't know, this has been a little bit of a controversial subject. If you guys watched the SRO sprint race that was on Wednesday evening around Nürburgring, you would see that the AMGs were absolutely rapid and completely and utterly just mullering that last chicane. And um, it was kind of raised the question, is it, is it actually fair or is it just a characteristic of the car or is this, you know, an issue of setup or setup differences now? I personally believe at that sort of level, most people are going to have their setups figured out. So um, I, I would probably say um, it, it may not be a setup issue. It may just be something inherently in the AMG, which allows it to sort of run over the curbs without any problems. Now, most people already know, I don't think this is a big secret anymore, that a lot of people are running their, their mechanical grip on minimum, pretty much apart from the bump stop range. The wheel rate and the bump stop rate, front and rear, a lot of people are running that completely and utterly minimum. So they're able to get away with running a car over the curbs. The dampers is something different. A lot of people won't show you their dampers because of what they're doing. So we don't know whether these are just elite setups or whether, you know, there really is something in it in terms of the AMG. Now, for me personally, the reason why I, I would kind of steer towards the car being more, more of a car thing than just a setup thing is... If you come over to the aero page and you look at the ride height, the minimum ride height for the Mercedes is actually 50 millimeters, which is pretty much lower than I'm, I'm sure than any other car, or at least w definitely one of the lowest, right? So you can get away with running the front ride height on 50 millimeters, which is, you know, for your, for your aero balance is going to be pretty good because you're able to run the front end of the car as close to the ground as possible. Now, I know I said in the past that you can get away with running higher front ride heights and it's not as detrimental as it used to be which is still true but you know still if you're able to get away with running a car on minimum then it's always going to be quicker now if you if you look at other cars there a lot of their other minimum ride heights are higher than the mercedes but they still cannot run the car over the curbs in the same way that their mercedes can now if you look at a lot of the tracks where the mercedes is rapid you're talking about monza Okay, you're talking about, about Imola. These are tracks where you have to ride the curbs and the AMG literally just, it just has no sort of, no no bad reaction to curbs whatsoever, where which other cars, you can sort of get thrown off of the circuit if, you, if, you're, if you're hitting curbs in the wrong way, which that, you know, kind of asks the question, is it really fair? Because we look into the real world, we definitely see that, um, most of these gt cars are able to sort of clamber over curbs and you know it just depends on the driver how aggressive the driver is but you don't really see guys hitting the hitting the curb and getting thrown completely into narnia the way you do on acc so first let's quickly compare how the amg takes the chicane at nurburgring compared to the audi you can see pretty smooth not too much to worry about in the amg and um me personally is it's quite a pleasant experience knowing you can sort of throw the car through that corner but again now we're going to see with the audi i do take the corner very similar i do go kind of aggressive but the car does get a lot more skittish when coming off of the curbs and um you have to bear in mind the difference in ride height minimum ride height between the cars is actually four millimeters the audi naturally has a much higher ride height I know four millimeters is not a lot, but it is quite a lot. When you, if you was to put the front ride height of the AMG to 54, you would feel the front end would struggle a lot more to go into corners the way it does. It, it won't be as, you know, as direct when you're trying to turn into these corners. So, you know, it begs the question, how much higher on the front ride height on some of these other cars do you have to go before you get a similar sort of curb compliance to what the amg has or is it even possible to get in a lot of the other cars now i know there's cars like the bmw also very good over curbs and stuff like that but when you're thinking of a car that has a very very good bop and then you're doing certain tracks where you sort of you need to to you know you need to fly over the curbs 
it kind of makes the car un untouchable in certain areas now i know the amg is not probably not going to be the fastest car on every single track on the game which is fair enough but in this particular aspect and what we're talking about in terms of cars being able to go over curbs i do believe most cars in this game should be perfectly fine over curbs i don't believe this is a, a way to bop the cars or a way to balance out the performance of the cars i don't actually think that's the way forward in terms of what you can get away with because it kind of makes you drive the whole game differently it makes you drive complete different lines and therefore you're not actually maximizing your your true potential or pace around certain tracks now for example let's look at valencia the second to last corner which depending on which car you're driving can be seriously tricky with the amg you don't realistically even have to think about it that exit curb is nothing for the amg you you don't really feel the car bouncing or bouncing out of control after you come off the curbs but in some other cars particularly for me in the ferrari when i was making my setup i had to compromise quite a lot i did raise the car up a little bit because it just it was much more of a struggle now you'll see in a second when i get to the same corner even though i'm able to you know get through the corner without any problems whatsoever it still is a lot more of a harsher ride and you know once you're in the midst of battle and you're on a qualifying lap and you don't want to make a mistake you generally don't really want to like push the car as much as you can because you, you fear that you're going to have some sort of incident and you saw there how much more the car moves around and some people might say maybe it's a front engine car thing but i've had issues in the bentley around here when i was testing the bentley around here and i believe the bentley's minimum front ride height is even is it 54 or 55 even but you'll see in a second i think i've showed this clip before where i just completely get stuck on the curb it just i can't even break it just sends the bentley straight off the track and it's like wow it's definitely definitely a little bit of an issue but what do you guys think do you think it's something that is just you know something that is bespoke to the amg or is it something bigger at play that kind of needs to be sorted out needs to be balanced out a little bit i do believe there should be a base level of curb compliance that all cars can comply with on the game without having to do anything crazy in the setups because i believe it's like that in the real world okay um of course the amg is going to have certain attributes that only the amg will have and stuff like that but in terms of the curbs i do feel like sometimes they're just a little bit random on the game and that doesn't help when you've got some cars or maybe one or two cars in particular literally just smashing curbs and other cars getting blown out of <laughs> you know what i mean like hitting hitting detonator proxy mines or something and just getting thrown completely off the circuit doesn't really make sense i feel like they need to tweak it a little bit i prefer the curb compliance how it is on like, for instance like race room you can sort of hit the curbs and it sort of feels like it's the same for every car if you try to get too aggressive on curbs then of course you know you, you're going to run into troubles but on on acc it just seems like even if you raise the ride height on certain cars you're still going to struggle over certain curbs whereas other guys can just slam their cars down to the ground not not compromise their setup in any way shape or form be able to run their car in the fastest state and have no ill fortune when it comes to running over curbs and for me you know it's just one of those things again it is i get it it's a sim but it's also a game and it's also coding and all that sort of jazz but um i feel like there is stuff that could be done to sort it out um i'll be honest guys i'm not i'm not like a massive fan of the 1.9 update i'm just <laughs> i'm just not i feel like there's been so many different variables since the 1.9 update i'm not quite sure if i'm feeling it my favorite my favorite patch was probably 1.7 um, i know a lot of people like 1.7 i feel like 1.7 was pretty good um maybe there was a couple of issues here and there what i do like about 1.9 i guess is the fact that you have to sort of look after tires and stuff like that that's pretty cool but other than that not the greatest fan of the 1.9 update man i'm not gonna lie to you um but anyway guys tell me what you think do you think it's setup induced do you think you know the amg should have its own you know quirks to the car that other cars can't replicate or do you think there's something in the game where the curb compliance is just a little bit off tell me what you think in the comment section below cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace